Okay, hello everybody, welcome to the replay of match day four in the G-Man 4. I don't know which season it is, to be honest, but there you go. Um, it's versus Cyber Knight with his Bretonians. He chose to receive and then got then got rain dropped on him, so that was nice, wasn't it? Uh, lost the toss again, the chaos, obviously a bunch of players, a bunch of stat-ups. Very nice. Uh, he's got a wizard and a bribe and an apple. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, you know, I've I've been up up TV in all these games, haven't I? So, but a lot of the TV is is in bloat bloat goats, isn't it? You know, getting all these strength ups while it's good. You pay a hefty a hefty price in TV, but it is it is a good team, obviously. It's a good team for the amount of levels it's got, and for the amount of star player points it's got. But it's not. Uh, it's not incredibly TV efficient, is it? That's the that's the problem with the bloat goats. The bloat goats. He's got a frenzy. So yeah, Cyber Knight's a very very famous Brett coach, isn't he? He's always he's usually top Brett coach in the uh, playoffs. Usually in the playoffs with the Bretts, uh, CCL, and uh, his team's not that bad, is it? Actually, he's got some stuff. He's got some stuff in his team. Um, dirty player fouls with a bribe is always good. Well, not always because they were it wasn't then but sometimes good mighty blow a couple of mighty blow guys some guarders uh, oh this is a nice move here powered him into an additional block that was good wasn't it that was a clever move uh, it didn't I didn't get any armor breaks out of it but um I like I liked it I like the idea. Go me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've got the strength in the guard, so I can hopefully hopefully do something here. He didn't even go for the pickup, which is fair enough, isn't it? He, he didn't want to uh, risk a bad scatter and stuff. And also that, that blitz exposed the guard, which I thought was one of the least good ones to expose. So like, it did stop me getting a claw hit, but I could only pile on a, a peasant with a board down anyway, couldn't I? And couldn't get a good hit on his positionals, I don't think. And that's a ducky foul. That is a dead Chaos Warrior. Instant Apo. And thank God it worked. <laughs> so he's only missed next game. Wow. So... Two players out on turn two. Getting out bashed by Bretts. All is right in the world. <laughs> After the Kemri match, you can imagine my great state of mind at this point. First day of e break. <laughs> it's a dodge fair. But there's a chance, isn't there? There's a chance to... Uh... To like you know the the with the strength in the guard, there's a chance to do stuff. No, down two players is absolutely fine. It's it, but you know it's I didn't go up two players <laughs> in the other game. Down two players straight away isn't great, is it? He does have mighty blow though. He does have two two mighty blow guys and a dirty player, and beastmen are only armor eight. I think it's a bit unlucky to be down the warrior, but it was a huge gang foul, so it's fair enough. Felicic <laughs> GFI to hit with claw palm. Double won it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and then that left these guys out. You know, I I shouldn't have I knew I shouldn't have hit him. I knew I should have just blitzed the, blitzed the peasant and, you know, got players in the way, but I didn't because things, things weren't going very well. Another AV break. At least his dirty player's gone, isn't he? I mean, that was that was huge. Killing the dirty player was absolutely fantastic. To be fair, and 
so he, at least he can't foul now, can he? And another removal. <laughs> but that, that was my fault. That was, his, that was a greedy player going for the hit. The GFI hit on him was very greedy. So I kind of deserved that, I think. Double skulls into a KO'd. Into one of my guys removed. <laughs> but now I don't have to GFI to hit him. So now I can claw pom him and totally kill him, can't I? Guaranteed kill here on this claw pom blitz. Now I just got a derp like an idiot. Herp derp base 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 like an idiot. Just try and stop him. I mean, absolute desperation stakes down these players. Don't break. <laughs> Don't break. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Three players removed to one. Claw pom not doing anything. Well, yeah, because trying to win the game, yeah. So this is this is the thing. The basing, the reason for the basing is because I'm just trying to make some, desperately trying to stop him scoring, aren't I? Trying to make something happen. It it wasn't a great play, obviously, to base here, but I was just, it was just pure desperation stakes. Pure desperation is why I based up there, hoping for quad skulls. Or, you know, something. It wouldn't not have been plan A. This was definitely plan F or something. <laughs> Moves I shouldn't... I mean, I probably shouldn't have gone to Desperation. I was only down two players net. But down two strength four guarders. And another player's gone. <laughs> but that's fair enough. I did give him a lot of blocks. So... But you didn't knock them all down, so now I could be able to generate something here, couldn't I? Potentially. Get a Kaz. Claw Mighty Blow. Well, the Mighty Blow wasn't needed. Apple fail. Glorious removal there. Could have hit him from this angle and then base the ball, couldn't I, if I'd wanted? But I didn't want to base the ball, because he just dormers me in punch me in. Because I got some blocks back anyway, so that was nice. Now it's not looking that bad at all, is it? Just despite being two players down. Got more strength and some guard. For all the whining about dice, it doesn't look so bad. But yeah, the Dauntless is pretty nifty, isn't it? Against strength four players. Uh, another, another removal without any mighty blow <laughs> but it's my it's mighty blow so it's, yeah it's not unreasonable it's not unreasonable to be making armor breaks is it every every block being an armor break isn't wholly unreasonable. <laughs> but after the Kemri game, you can see why I probably wasn't so happy about this match right now. And another removal. <laughs> but at this point, it's lucky that they're KOs, isn't it? Um, that's his bribe gone, at least. Five, six guys off the pitch, but five are only KOs. But yeah, I probably, I probably derped going all men's when I was down three players. Like, I did a desperation man's in. I probably shouldn't have done. But, Farmer Boy Jim got fucked, so that's good. And my removals are Kaz. So, he, I've made three removals, but they're all Kaz. So, he's definitely not on 11 players second half. And he, while he's made six removals... Uh, they're only KOs, aren't they? So there's a chance of them coming back. There's a chance of them coming back, at least. Cheeky one dice onto a, onto a dodger. Obviously, I've got tackles, so wasn't so crazy to make it. But Yeah, exactly. See, so like, while this drive has gone badly in terms of being able to stop the score... 
it's gone it's gone worse for him he's had a dirty player die and uh, I don't know if this is a, these are perms or not just missed next game just missed next game so you know it's it's not looking good for him in the second half Yes to bleeding hippie in chat. <laughs> and another foul on the claw palm. Cur palm with three assists. Doesn't break AV. Pretty lucky to escape that one, I think. Try to smash peasants. Rock hard today. Thanks for that, Tony. Hello, Rotten Blue. <laughs> Pylon? Yeah, he's gonna foul me anyway. Pylon. And got a removal, outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. He's getting hit by a mighty blow though, potentially, for that. For that pylon, the other one. But yeah, com <laughs> scoring him when comp stopping the score went completely out the window, didn't it? Pretty early, due to all the KOs. Foul plus three assists. I mean, he's do, you know he's doing well, isn't he? he? Got cleared all the tackle zones. Got a three assist foul. Dirty player foul in. Gets sent off. What well, maybe it wasn't dirty player. So maybe that maybe I didn't like that foul actually because it's like late in the half. Uh, I can see the point though. The core pom is terrifying, isn't it? When it rolls powers like this. Pure Jim Fowley we rolled there. Pile on the KO because he's, he's going to get a chance to recover anyway. So I thought let's go greedy. Still get a KO. And, you know, because he's going to score on turn 8 and get two chances, isn't he? For sure. For sure he's getting two KO rolls. So that was only 75%. He was 75% to come back. So I thought it was definitely worth piling on a KO there. So he's ended up with hardly play any players on the pitch here. Five. To say he was dominating at one point, the KOs and the and the Kaz and the sending off have really meant that he's taken as much damage now. Somehow, it's crept up on us, but somehow he's got six players out. <laughs> and most of mine are KOs, and most of his are Kaz. So now it's looking horrible for him, even though the fact he scored on turn eight. And I don't even know how it happened. It just crept up on us. Some The odd, the odd, uh, the odd claw pom hit. And the sending off and straight back into it. Three KO recoveries. Outrageous. So now he's he's only got seven maximum eight players for the second half. And I can have eleven. Uh good chance of eleven as well. Again, players off the pitch, so no chance of one turn, really, I don't think. Oh, he did set up very badly against the one turn. Um, but yeah, I would have to rely on a touchback. I guess the rain, anyway, I probably would have done. Movement 7, though. Oh, no, movement 7. I could do movement 7 one turn. But I think I'd just set up for a riot and punch things. I mean, setting up to punch things and hope for a riot is, is probably, percentage-wise, going to be the best way, anyway. You know, if I make Kaz, there's, there's more chance of me getting two in the second half if I make a bunch of Kaz. So he protects himself from claw palm hits here. Well, one of the claw palm hits. Yeah, yeah. I, I know I still mighty blow. I still would have liked that guy over there if I was him. Because he's still giving me a mighty blow hit there. What's this? Ah, so I could chain him. I could chain him onto the... 
Oh, another Kaz. And then th th that was chaining him for a potential surf, wasn't it? Because pu could push him there, push him to there. No, I couldn't surf him. I don't know what that was. I don't know why I did all that. I don't know why I did that chain push. It just didn't achieve anything. <laughs> just stupid, I guess. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what the point of that chain was. But I did it anyway, because it's stone and I like the taste. Claw Pom gets an AV break. Auto Pylon. But yeah, now it's getting crazy now, isn't it? Four cars. Looking very bad for Cyber Knight. So he does have the wizard still. Farming a star player pint. Glorious. So he's got six men off the pitch. KO roll came back. So I've got 11. And he's got like six on the pitch. Yeah. Yeah, six versus 11. Pretty good. So obviously I'm going to go for the win now. Uh, try to... Try to beat him up and actually go for the win. Incredibly, despite the despite the easy turn eight stall for him. But yeah, just caught him, didn't I? Caught, got a few good digs in at the end of the half. That was key, I guess. And and that send off as well. But I mean, that send off could have been a non send off into my claw palmer being cast, couldn't he? So dice of solidly turned already in this match. Nice weather, so can pick up the ball all right. I just claw palm stuff. <laughs> Get the cur palm. Get the tacklers hitting the dodge guys. Exciting strategy. You'd be surprised how, how some people don't do things like hitting with mighty blow or hitting dodges with tackle. <laughs> but I did the right things. Incredibly. I made that three dice and then it wasn't three dice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I was getting the assist off him, so I, mean, I thought I was getting the assist off him to make it three dice and didn't. So that was pretty, but that was pretty bad. Uh, but another cast there from Mighty Blow. Now it's looking really good. And fail the pickup and don't re-roll it. I think maybe I should have moved this guy over there or something. Maybe, maybe he should have either moved here or he should have moved there to stop the four plus three plus out if he'd been here. Then it's really hard for him to dodge around the backside, isn't it? So I think I should have moved the beast man either either here or over there somewhere. Only a stun. I'll take that. I'll take that now. I'll take any of his blocks just being a stun now, won't I? Because he's really got to. Uh, he's really up against it now. He cleared that guy off anyway. I can three dice every turn now, can't I? Three dice blitz. If I'm smart. Oh no, I was just gonna two D two D chain. This is this is a nice move, isn't it? Two D chain him into an additional block there. Clever Dino. Of course pile on. Why would why would you why would you not pile on? Of course you pile on. That shouldn't be. You should be able to set it to auto pile on, shouldn't you? That was a great feature in Blood Bowl One. Great feature, the auto pile on. Not gonna do it. You play a foul. It was tempting, obviously, to foul this good player, but uh, I could have fouled the wrestler as well, I guess. Try and lock this guy down because he's a bit of a bit of a pain in the asshole, isn't he? This is going to be a turn twelve score. Provided he doesn't bolt me, no, oh, he bolts and KOs. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but he hasn't got a recovery at least, so I don't think it was a great bolt. 
because because this guy, I mean, I really locked down near the Blitzer, didn't I? He was well and truly locked down. And he couldn't, he couldn't blitz and punt. These guys got to stand firm on the ball though, I guess. But it's wrestle, so it's not that good, is it? And a, and a blodge stepper near the ball. So, you know, this is actually pretty tricky, isn't it? But I just smooth pow the blodge stepper. Oh! <laughs> Into a cast! Well, that's definitely the luckiest action of the half, isn't it? Nice. But, I mean, I th that was okay going for that block, because if he sidestepped in the tackle zone, I could have hit him with tackler. So I like going for the block, just assuming a push, so I could hit him with tackle. That's all I was trying to get a push, to hit with tackle. But, obviously, that was an incredible result. Completely incredible result. This is a bit... This is a bit... Oh, no, because I didn't want to risk it with the... Hmm. Probably should have blitzed with a movement seven, shouldn't I? And if I'd got the knockdown, pick it up with somebody else. But I went the greedier route because the push was no good. Um, against Stan Firm. Maybe I thought I was just going to re roll a push, so that's why I didn't go with block. Make the pick up. And make a GFI. And make another GFI. Outrageous. <laughs> Outrageous GFIs were made in an effort to score on turn 12 and give us a chance of a 2 1 win. And he fails his dodge through tackle. Very good. Obviously, I've got to block some people first. There's a curl palm there and a curl palm there. Okay, pow. Into another Kazit now it's complete dicing, isn't it? Now we have ventured into complete dicing territory. Um, it was a minus agility. Apo didn't a dead, so he took the death because he wasn't going to keep minus agility on him. And yeah, now we've got seven Kaz and a send off, and now it's absolute, absolute dicing territory. Funny, isn't it? What a, what a turnaround from the first half. Incredible. Obviously going to pile. And no wizard, no wizard now as well. So four turns to uh, to squeeze him for the defensive TD. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Frank Casbo. Claw Pom rolling Kaz. Outrageous, outrageous stuff. Four players. Four players left. Claw Pom doing what it's supposed to do. Glorious. I'm putting way too much thought into this, I think, <laughs> against four players. But, you know, he can potato, can't he? So I've got to make sure that I can tackle tackle anyone who runs away. But then, And I've got to have somebody back in case he punts it. And then I've got to be able to have enough to, like, kind of, you know, hunt him down. So it's not easy to get the turnover and touch down in four turns. Oh, pitch invasion. <laughs> that's, that's too good. <laughs> That's two guys down. <laughs> Outrageous. Outrageous. But he gets out of range, doesn't he? That That's good, getting out of range of the Blitz. So yeah, I moved him back in case he punts it. Which probably shouldn't have been him because he's got tackle. 
So I probably should have. That's probably a mistake. I probably should have had a rookie back in case he punted it. Because now I'm only hunting him with one tackle instead of two, aren't I? So that was that was a big mistake. I think. I guess there was a chance of him making some kind of of potato, but very unlikely. I shouldn't have been thinking about that. I should have, that should have definitely been a rookie. And then tackle could have been doing things. Because the one tackle that I've got is just busy trying to kill stuff. But I think I was thinking of like pacing myself because I didn't have to get the ball straight away, did I? And finally make a foul on turn 13. And it's another removal. So he's got two two birds left. <laughs> two birds left on the pitch. And the tackler is in kind of a good spot, isn't he? But yeah, I think I should definitely had like a tackler, another tackler up there. I think for sure that should have been a rookie there. Good GFI to hit with car. Nope. Or double double GFI to make it three dice. That was a bit dirty, wasn't it? So that's fair enough. I mean, that was three GFIs to make this three dice. So. <laughs> and get a push. And he's running off. And he's punting it. I've got the interception chance. No, I didn't. I didn't have the interception. And he's punted it. All right. So a huge punt. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I've only got two turns to score now. So that's uh, that's pretty tricky, isn't it? That was a huge punt. Incredible. Can only surf one of these guys, can't I? Ah, oh, can't surf him. <laughs> Yeah, push him on the sideline is good, isn't it? And then go for the surf here. A block without block. Pretty risky with only two turns left and two re-rolls, but I had to get rid of his, his you know, better guy. Um, so yeah, this is, this is really hard, isn't it? With two turns left. I guess I go for a pass this turn. No. I think maybe I should have double GFI and passed it because it just gives me the chance of. Uh, I think I should have passed. So, like this guy. You know, put somebody six away from him. Oh, he's, he's the one six away from him. So, I probably should have tried to pass it to this guy, I think, there, that turn. doing now passing it to this guy fair enough and then hand off to him to get block no to get him closer to block fail it and then make it Whew. so pretty lucky in the end to get the win um, despite <laughs> despite making a million cars and that is uh, that is all she wrote, isn't it? I think he's got one more turn left now. Right, 
Right, let's go. <laughs> Cheers, Gav. It's three. <laughs> it's three Brits that he's got left on the pitch. So yeah, seven Kaz killed a killed a blitzer, dodge frenzy blitzer, killed dirty player. Some miss next games, but the first half was horrible. The, like the first half was really was really tough, but then the dice the dice swung back to more what you'd expect when these two teams would play each other. Is he just gonna skip his last turn? Or is he gonna punch? He's gonna punch. Oh wow, greeted into a pal. Phew, didn't die. <laughs> Okay, so the internet went down then, but <laughs> this is this is the end result of that match. Um, twenty AV breaks. It, it's not actually twenty. There's a, it, the piling on's a bit bugged, so you get more AV breaks than you should. But still, twenty AV breaks to twelve, uh, thirty-seven blocks to thirty. Loads of cars. I mean, he made more KOs than me, but the KOs came back, and the injuries didn't. <laughs> so that is that is the difference, isn't it? Really. For all those removals he made first half, they were just KOs. 2016-26, so quite decent block dice, versus 18-29-26, so better block dice for me. And then uh, dodges were 50-50, I mean some were 4 pluses to be fair. GFIs were 90, very nice. His bribe worked, and his bolt worked, and... Uh, my one dodge failed in the match. <laughs> GFIs were a solid five out of eight. Pickups were fine. And yeah, that's it. So that was a funny old game, wasn't it? That really was a game of two halves. The first half felt horrible for me. Second half went swimmingly. Turned the match around completely. And, uh, you know, even, even during the first half, I got all the cast towards the end of the first half, didn't I? So, yeah, and it was... Uh, Loads of SPPs, yeah, incredible. And uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.